No, I'll be here. We hate you. Exactly. We're going to talk about how you say it. So last week, I issued a challenge, which was pursue your passion, focus on that passion, and active thinking. I've done a lot of active thinking this week, and a thing that keeps coming up over and over and over is how much we change. Part of that is because I'm getting ready to do a video uh, based on what I've done since high school. My 30-year reunion is coming up. I graduated at 17, I'm 47, 30 years. I think anyone that's ever had a plan, a real plan, knows that that ideal plan lasts about 10 minutes. No, in all reality, it doesn't last long. Even if you're pursuing it and you're doing all the steps you need to, within that, there are so many things that come up. Uh, so much of life is improvised that by the time we reach whatever our goal is, chances are it either isn't our original goal or our view of it has changed so dramatically just in the pursuit of that goal. Very rare would it be for anyone who says, I want to achieve whatever it is. Let's say making a film. You, you want to make a film. You think you know what that means, but you don't until you've done it. And then if you want to be really detailed, Every time you pursue something, even if it's similar, it's never the same. This ties into a good, two good friends of mine are getting married, and I'm excited about that. That's a great thing. Uh, they are about to embark on the next phase uh, as man and wife. I was honored enough to be part of the bachelor party. So i got two other things to talk about. One is the bachelor party. I have a little bit of footage from the end of the night. Uh, I thought about editing it rather heavily, but then I realized I've been trying to strip down any pretentiousness about myself. Uh, and so I am going to just put in some clips and uh, let you see the end of the, of the party. Um, it was a good night. And I'm at a bachelor party. This is Joe, this is his bachelor party. What's up? I mean, I'm marrying the most awesome woman in the world. I, you're all screwed. If, if people compare <laughs> you to her, then you lost, sorry. And and this is one of the few people who's still here. <laughs> Because oh, we he hung out. We we started out in Wendell somewhere, but we don't know where the hell Wendell he is. Went, I think he. But you know the truth is, we never know where Wendell is. But we love Wendell. We love Wendell. A little strange, but we love Wendell. When was he gay? What it comes down to is you're a pretty man. I'm pretty dude. Okay, here's Wendell. We finally found Wendell. Hey, if Wendell, I wore a hat, it wasn't clean. It was clean, not like oil based. Okay, Wendell, this is for my blog. So what are you gonna say? What do you gotta say, man? I know I gotta play it like passion like John Mayer. Okay. And at that bachelor party we had a great time. And there were some great guys there and it really just was it was really a good night. It ended at about four thirty in the morning. So I spent most of yesterday, Saturday, laying around, sleeping, napping just kind of doing nothing. When I was in my 20s in the Navy, I would have gotten up and probably taken a nap, probably slept a lot of the day, and then Saturday night we would have gone out again. Part of it's because I'm older. Part of it is because I, I got tired of losing days, even when I didn't drink, which sometimes I was designated driver, just staying up till four or five in the morning 
meant that I gave up a great deal of the next day, if not the entire day. It was a trade-off, and that's one of the things that's changed. Typically, I don't want to lose a day, so I don't stay up till 4.35 in the morning. I'm currently trying to adjust my schedule so that most days I get up at 5. I've been doing this slowly so that it wouldn't be a shock, but I'm starting to believe that I just need to do it. The reason for that is that I would like to start taking time in the morning to either write or exercise, alternatingly. I want to talk about dads because it is Father's Day, so I want to talk about dads. I have two brothers who are fathers. Uh, both of them are like anyone else. They struggle at times with what should I do because kids are going to throw things at you that you're, you're never prepared for. But I have to say they're both turning out to be very good fathers. They both put their children first and try to make them, well, when I say they try to make them happy, I don't mean as in they simply try to make them temporarily happy. They try to give them the tools and the things they need to be happy in life, which is a much bigger, difficult job. And then there's my father. I have everyone that says, oh, I had the best dad. And I don't believe that there's one best father out there in the world. What I can say is I got the right father. I don't know that any other man would have been right to be my father. I often say my family is never surprised when big or crazy things happen to me. And they always say if something crazy is going to happen, it'll probably happen to John. Part of that's my personality. But the development of that personality and what allowed me to live the life that I live and do the things that I do and go the places I've gone uh, was my parents. And I often say that uh, it's my dad's fault because he told me if I was willing to do the work, I could do anything I wanted to do. And then he acted like he believed it. And that was the key. There are a lot of people who tell their kids they can do anything and then they don't, they don't act like they believe it. My dad did. And because of that, I have to this point lived a pretty amazing life in my own eyes, which I don't know how anyone could ask for something better than that. Um, I've traveled a lot of the world. I've been involved in all kinds of interesting and strange adventures, uh, which I'll cover a lot of those on my 30 year reunion video that I plan to make without making it flowery or over the top or overly sentimental or beyond the reality by removing all pretentiousness from what I'm about to say. It strips down to this. My dad chose to do the best he could and raise his children. Not, not all children, not all people can say their father did that. My dad was aware of his son's personality and nature and he played to that which is huge he did try to direct me he did try to make sure I was going on a path that was worthwhile but even when he didn't agree with the choice that I made he supported me uh, and that's amazing So, I am glad that I have the dad that I have. And I think as, if you can honestly look at yourself in the mirror or honestly look at your father and say, I am glad that he was my father. I don't know of anything better to be able to say. And so with that, I'll leave it.